am running full of knowledge after the great cruise that I had on. That was honestly one of the best cruises I've ever had. Uh, Diego spoke very highly of it. You guys, you, I heard you guys had a lot of fun. We did. We had a lot of fun. I'll, 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 it was, I've, I'm a big ocean guy. Hardly ever went, uh, actually never went on river. Uh, a lot of ocean cruises. I mean, I've sailed with Carnival, Celebrity, Princess, Disney, uh, Oceana, Regent, uh, Crystal. Uh, this is my first river cruise. And let me tell you, I, I had a lot of fun. It was very intimate. It was great. I kind of had the best sleep I've ever had in a cruise. Uh, and everything was just fantastic. I'm sure Diego told you about the tours. I honestly was very uh, surprised how the tours was very curated. Um, the, um, the, the tour guides were very knowledgeable. They were from the area. They had a lot of history. You know, they showed us around. I mean, it was, it was amazing. But wait, 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 save it, save it, save it. Save I know, it. I know, and I'm, 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 give, I'm giving you too much. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. See, I, I, I'm paying too much attention to you. I'm just going to, oh, I already, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll save the presentation. Definitely I'll go over everything that I experienced. It'll be, this is going to be a great presentation, especially I just came off a cruise just about three days ago. So it'll be very good. Good, 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 good. And we are... Um, on our end, we, um, you know, we're, we're getting very, very busy. Uh, I, the, uh, the, the, I don't, I'm, obviously, I'm sure we'll have an opportunity to share with everybody, uh, and I'm sure many know, but since the CDC, since the United States, well, the, the, the State Department dropped the, uh, the requirement for COVID tests to come back to the United States, people have just been, you know, a lot more comfortable making that booking, and we're feeling it. We're feeling it. Yeah, and, that's, and came off the sales meeting, we also made some changes on our river cruises too. So definitely we'll, we'll share that when we talk about COVID and testing what's going on with that. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, okay, so uh, we're gonna give this uh, three more minutes uh, while we get started. I wanna welcome everybody that joined recently uh, to our event today. Uh, we are going to be starting very, very soon. We're going to have a fun event. We're going to learn a lot about both Scenic and Emerald. And um, we'll, um, we'll, um, we'll have an opportunity to ask a lot of questions at the end too. So um, thank you all of you that uh, are joining early. Uh, we are going to get started at three o'clock on the dot. And then um, we'll, you know, we'll do some light introductions then and then Andy will introduce himself and so forth and so on. Hi, Andy. How you doing? Hey, Steve. How you doing? I'm doing I'm doing fine. I'm fine. So your cruise was fine, huh? My cruise was better than fine. It was amazing. It was fantastic. With well, a capital you, F. That's because you had Diego, right? You know what? He he was very knowledgeable. I tell you what, Carlos, you have some amazing people on your team. Very knowledgeable. They know their stuff. So the folks wait, who are wait. listening to me right now. They... Hold, hold that during the meeting. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Diego was phenomenal. Uh, I will tell you, phenomenal. Diego, yeah, they're, they're clapping over here. <laughs> Diego's good. Diego's good. Oh, we do. We do have. We're very proud to have a truly amazing team, very knowledgeable group of uh, advisors and and passionate advisors. So. Um, no, that's you know we're 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 very happy. We're very happy and very yeah. proud of our team and our and our and our people. So, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely save the story with Diego because he honestly helped me uh, with a lot of stuff. So uh, I'll definitely save that story towards towards the end of the presentation. Awesome, awesome, fantastic, fantastic. So we have um, thirty two participants uh, between guests and the LCC. Advisors, we expect uh, at least maybe five to 10 more that I'm sure will join in the next few minutes. And um, this meeting is being recorded. So, um, you know, that's for those that couldn't join uh, or if you want to share this with a family member or a friend or whatever, you can also uh, feel free to do so. So, okay, so three o'clock. And uh, I want to officially welcome everybody to our Scenic and Emerald um, 
virtual event here with Andy Fuentes. Uh, I'm going to let Andy introduce himself in a second, but uh, let's do some uh, house, you know, let's talk about some housekeeping uh, um, uh, items first. We are going to be having a very short, well, a relatively short presentation uh, from Andy explaining and sharing some good details on Scenic and Emerald. Um, many of you might know about Scenic, many of you uh, might, be this, might be the first time hearing about this, this brand, uh, and Andy will explain why that is the case. Um, while we are uh, conducting this presentation, I'm going to ask you all to please um, ask your questions in the chat box, which is where I'm typing hello probably see that hello coming up, popping up in the bottom of your screen. Um, that's where you will type questions uh, so that we can make sure we ask every single one of them at the end of the presentation. When we are done with the presentation, I will make sure to read every question, get an answer from you, for you, and then we'll open up for uh, some live Q&A as well so that you can ask questions live and Andy can answer those questions for us. Um, like I was saying before, this presentation is being recorded. Feel free to share this with friends and family. Uh, we do have a, a very special and exclusive um, um, little promotion that we created for people that attended the event. Those will also apply for anybody that sees the recording. Um, so please feel free to share it with anybody. So I want to thank everybody for being here throughout this presentation. You might also see some polls come up. It, we, we usually do this so that we can understand who's joining us and how much you know about the brand and so forth and how you're feeling about what we're talking about. So if you happen to see uh, a poll pop up, just like the one you're seeing right now, I, feel free to start answering and then I, I'll share uh, answers with the audience as we go. Um, so for example, as of right now, 86% uh, of you out of... Uh, 22 out of 35 of you have responded, 23, 87% of you have never sailed with Emerald um, or, or Scenic. So that's very good because that means that we have a lot of potential uh, guests that can get to know these brands and get uh, inspired by today's conversation. And hopefully you can get to go on, you, you get to sail with Scenic or Emerald sometime soon. So without further ado, form, formal introduction here. I'm Carlos Edry. I'm the CEO of Luxury Cruise Connections. Today with us, we have several Luxury Cruise Connections team members. Uh, many of them might be your personal travel advisor today. Uh, some of them hopefully will be your personal travel advisor very soon. Um, and uh, we have Andy Fuentes today. Um, and D Denise, by the way, Denise, uh, uh, she's waving. You probably see her up there. She's, um, uh, she's basically helping us run this entire uh, event today. And then Andy Fuentes here, uh, who you probably see in your big screen is, um, well, I'm gonna let him introduce himself and what he does for Scenic and Emerald. How about that, yeah? All right. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you again. Thank you, Carlos and the whole Luxury Cruise Connections team for having me on. Uh, it is a pleasure to to be on today and uh, and talk about this amazing company. Um, I was lucky enough to sail on Emerald uh, just last week, uh, and then this week we had our national sales uh, conference. So, a lot of great things uh, going to happen. Uh, between now and the very, very near future. So I'm going to go and share my screen. I have a very short presentation and a little bit about um, who we are and what we do. And let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Uh, Carlos, give me a thumbs up if you see it. Okay. So um, Scenic and Emerald, uh, let me go ahead and kind of explain, you know, who we are, where we come from, and, you know, how can we um, hopefully be one of your uh, providers for your next cruise vacation. So three things I'm going to tell you about Scenic and Emerald. Uh, we are inclusive, we are exclusive, and we are your custom tailor shop. Uh, 
Uh, so we're inclusive uh, as far as, you know, we do include almost everything. And I say almost because, you know, um, spa and some of the activities that we have on board, um, especially on the Emerald brand, uh, would not be included. But most everything is included. Your excursions, your prepaid gratuities, um, your Wi-Fi access, uh, transfers are included. Um, we do have uh, on the Scenic brand drinks included. On the Emerald brand, we have some drinks included uh, we're exclusive we do have curated shore excursions which i would definitely talk about we have exclusive events um, we have our staff on board and most of all we are a family-owned company so from the time the ship is built to the time it splashed the water uh, all everybody who touches that ship is our own staff and we're your custom tailored shop because we have a lot of things that you can do on board um, I'll be honest with you when I went on the emo brand um, actually even tour the scenic brand uh, our staff is there for you we have one-to-one -one service um, you can customize your short excursions if you want to um, you can have a lot of varieties of the short excursion where you want to do active sightseeing white tasting uh, everything so this this is honestly the brand that I represent. Um, as you see on your screen, uh, today we're gonna talk about the river cruises uh, because if we talk about all four of our experiences, we'll be here for two to three hours. So definitely do not wanna do that. Um, so today we're gonna talk about the river experience and definitely down the road, I invite you to come back again because we're gonna talk about uh, the scenic eclipse and, and the emerald yachts. Um, but I'll definitely give a little sneak peek. Uh, so definitely we'll invite you to uh, come again here uh, in the near future. So talk about the river ships and who we are uh, really comes to our story. So the scenic brand is an Australian company. So I work for the Aussies. Yeah. So I work for the land down under uh, and they expanded from Australia to Europe, the UK, Canada, and the United States. Uh, so I'm locally in South Florida. Uh, our corporate headquarters uh, in the U.S. is in Hollywood, Florida. Uh, and this company started about 34 years ago, and they were a uh, land tour company. Uh, so if you think, when is this brand new? Not exactly. It's not brand new because we were uh, a land tour company uh, back in the 80s. Uh, actually, our owners, Glenn and Karen Maroney, uh, they actually came to the United States, saw the what wonderful tour that the United States had as far as bus rides and everything. They took it to Australia. Australia. And it got so popular that they wanted to expand into the rivers. And because of that, Glen Maroney wanted to be kind of the first ones that went into the waters for the rivers. And the scenic uh, spaceships, which I'll talk about that, they were the first river ships, one of the first river ships that hit the European rivers. Um, they grew. We have now 14 uh, scenic spaceships. Uh, and then they wanted to offer a different type of service because um, Scenic was all inclusive. They wanted to uh, get a company that's more inclusive by choice. So in uh, 2013, they bought the Emerald brand. Uh, they expanded on the Emerald brand. We have about nine starships right now in the fleet uh, for Emerald. So we had various amounts of waterways uh, in Europe, uh, which I'll show you here today. Uh, but then in 2018, we expanded into the oceans. So this is where the scenic eclipse comes from. Uh, scenic eclipse, which I won't talk about today. I'll just kind of tell you a little bit about her. Uh, she is the first world discovery yacht. Um, you know, we do expedition itineraries in Antarctica and the Arctic Ocean, uh, but we also have yacht itineraries in the Mediterranean uh, in the UK. Uh, we have one down the California coastline uh, and then all, as well as South America. Uh, next year, we're going to hit all seven continents with two uh, scenic eclipse, scenic eclipse one and two. Um, that's going to hit Africa, Indian Ocean, Australia, Papiete, uh, Fiji, and this is just to name a few. Uh, so definitely, if you're interested in one of those itineraries, I'm telling you, we have very knowledgeable uh, advisors at Luxury Cruise Connections. They can tell you more about the scenic eclipse and a little bit more of the itineraries. Uh, and then last but not least, this year, we just launched the Emerald uh, Super Yachts with the Emerald Azura. Uh, the Emerald Azura is, uh, is a 100-passenger yacht uh, sailing the Mediterranean, the Adriatic, uh, Egypt, uh, Israel, the Swiss Canal, um, the Emirates. Uh, and then next year, actually, we're going to have itineraries coming out uh, in two weeks, so at the end of 
um, in the end of June, we're going to probably announce that the two super yachts are coming very close to home. Um, so I can't tell you a lot of details, but I would tell you you can possibly throw a rock on the, on the super yachts in 2023 and 2024. So that's our story. Right now, we have uh, 14 spaceships all over Europe um, and Asia. We have nine. What do you, uh, mean, what do you mean spaceships? One, sh share with oh, us. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, oh, okay, I, I would okay. definitely tell you what the spaceships are. Uh, we have nine starships, and then we also have... Um, two scenic eclipse uh, yachts and also two um, emerald yachts here. So what is a spaceship? This is a spaceship. So right there, that is your spaceship. And I'll tell you why we are calling it a spaceship. So when I talk about the spaceships, the first thing people thought uh, or people think is, is did these go to outer space? Are they going to launch from the river? I mean, why, why, why did your owner land it a spaceship? Well, the reasons why Glenn Maroney uh, called it a spaceship is because he made it a point to um, have something on board that everyone on a river cruise wants to have, and that is space, it's personal space, uh, a very large space in the um, uh, common areas and the theaters and the restaurants. So usually people when think about river cruises, they think of compact space. And that's something that our owner did not want to do. And that's what we call it a spaceship because we definitely want to emphasize that on board every scenic cruise, you're going to get large uh, personal space. And when we go through the presentation, I'll definitely will highlight um, what, what space there is and what you're going to compare to other um, other cruise lines. So before I go and jump into that, I definitely want to address you know the situation with COVID-19. So as you probably know, I, I saw very emails, uh, lots of emails from Luxury Cruise Connections, and you probably read it um, on the newspaper, you probably read it online, and you've seen it in the news. We are, the United States have dropped their testing uh, to come back into the country. So that is a big win uh, for travel. So travel is definitely back and in very full swing. Uh, but we do have some stuff here that I definitely want to review. So um, I know in the past two years, things have, you know, we have a lot of uh, certain guidelines, certain regulations when it comes to COVID-19. I'll tell you now it's kind of, uh, we have more relaxed um, rules and regulations. So when you embark the ship, you used to come with a, um, uh, COVID, a negative COVID-19 test and we usually and we usually test on board for COVID-19. We have dropped uh, those requirements. You do not have to get tested before you come onto the ship and you we will not test you uh, when you come on board. Uh, do you still need to be vaccinated? Yes, you do. That is going to stick. And we just heard in our, in our sales meeting that is going to stick um, indefinite because uh, we definitely want to protect you and we definitely want to protect our crew members. Uh, when you get onto the ship, uh, mask requirements are not required. Um, if you would like to wear a mask, that is completely up to you. We're not going to require it, but we're still also we're still going to emphasize, you know, distance, you know, distance from the tables of well, one table to another, uh, distance as far as the common areas. So you kind of find the social distance. Uh, also, when you come on, um, when you come to contact with food or anything like that, we that's the only time that we honestly will ask you to wear a mask. And that's honestly just for the protection uh, of yourself and, and your fellow passengers. Um, we do not require the testing on, uh, on board anymore to come back home, so that is gone. Um, and again, if you have any symptoms or something like that, we would definitely would test you and quarantine if need be. And that is it. That's all the requirements there is right now for COVID-19. So that is great news for the industry. That is great news for us as we are returning back to normal, how things were prior to COVID-19. Now, with that being said, I still want to emphasize that everything is an ebb and flow. Uh, so this are always can always change. Uh, things obviously can spike up. So my best recommendation, folks, is to, you know, get one of your, these great travel advisors, Luxury Cruise Connections. They will tell you what the protocols are, if there's any protocol change, or if the protocol just goes away in general. Um, just keep, just, just keep informed, you know, um, get them to, you know, 
you know, definitely get one of these folks to, to help you with your cruise vacation. Because honestly, uh, the way I learned, especially on this cruise, is that they're very knowledgeable. They know everything. They read articles. They, they read uh, trades, magazines. So they know exactly what the protocols are going to be. And that's going to help you plan better for your vacation. There's not any surprises. So let's get that out of the way. Uh, and let's talk about the fun stuff. Let's talk about the spaceship and how does it, what does it look like? So I had the pleasure, uh, along with uh, Diego here, who, who is uh, on this call, to visit a, a scenic eclipse and, uh, sorry, the scenic uh, spaceship. And uh, coincidentally, this diagram is the opal, which we saw. Uh, first off, it is a gorgeous ship. I mean, once you come in, you're going to see marble flooring, marble stairs. Um, you're, going to, it, you're going to see the space very chic. Um, you're going to notice in the public areas like the restaurants, the atrium level, uh, which is the panorama deck. You're going to, in the panorama lounge, you're going to notice that the space is incredible. Um, like we fit our entire group uh, kind of coming in everybody at once into these public spaces and there was still space left over. So when we talk about the spaceship, it is a spaceship. Um, when we go down to the jewel deck, um, we saw first off the salt room and the salt room is a, is a relaxation room. Um, actually the flooring is salt and you know, folks walk there barefoot and they just kind of relax and you hear the spa music and it's such a gorgeous room very it invites relaxation uh ne and to across from that you see the gyms now there's a lot of equipment for for gyms now when i talk about gyms on on river cruises people think it's very small you know a very a very close in but this was big you know you have free weights you had machines you had trx you had treadmills you had exercise bikes in this room and the room it looks like you're going to your local gym um now i'm not saying this is kind of your la fitness where you have like this big thing no it's honestly a little studio uh that honestly has you can work out about three or four three to four to five people can work out comfortably with each other um then we saw the state rooms on the jewel deck and the jewel deck has that a standard we call it the standard suite which is a uh, a window like a little like a i don't say a picture window kind of a rectangular window um now folks i would tell you that honestly if you're looking to do a um a cruise down the Danube or the Rhine or what have you definitely want to get yourself uh, a European balcony, which we're going to talk about here later on today. Uh, but, you know, some folks want to travel single or some folks that, you know, they just want to get on the cruise. Uh, and definitely those rooms are there and they're pretty spacious, about 185 square feet. The average uh, size when it comes to river cruises, uh, the average stateroom size is about 135 square feet. So right there, you'd notice you know, what the space is as far as the stateroom. Beautiful marble bathrooms. Uh, some of them have his and her sinks. Um, the balconies uh, have glass doors. So you separate yourself from the room to the balcony. And again, it's, it's, it's European ba French balconies. So the window comes down to make yourself a balcony, which honestly, going down the river is, is, is just great. And this is you find on the Sapphire deck. The Sapphire deck is deck two, and it says all uh, balcony staterooms or deluxe balcony staterooms, which I'll show you what the difference between the two are in a minute. Your junior suites, and again, the far up you go, the larger in size. So your standard balcony uh, and your deluxe balcony is about 205 to 300 square feet. Again, average size for a balcony room in any river cruise is about 135 to 165 square feet. Um, as you go up to the diamond deck, that's where your suites are. Uh, it's your panorama suite. That's your owner suite. Uh, and these suites are just large. And the owner suite has that uh, deep, um, uh, a deep, I'll, I'll say, um, not, it's not a hot tub. It's a deep uh, whirlpool tub. So there we go, whirlpool tub. Uh, you have the panorama balcony. It's, it's kind of a wraparound balcony. Uh, and then you also have a lot of access to different types of venues when it comes to the super suites, like your panorama suite and the owner suite. Uh, the restaurant, the crystal dining room was amazing. Very beautiful, very spacious. Um, and the crystal dining room, you know, have your servers that will come and sit you down and serve you. And then this is your more of your main dining 
dining room and we do serve Italian and, ste and, and steaks and different types of cuisines. Usually what our chefs like to do is they like to um, bring in local foods, local dishes um, for you to try. And then obviously there's your, um, and we call it like like the daily like the dailies, which is you can get you know a chicken, steak, fish, salmon, um, and then you also we have different types of dishes that you also can get. So different varieties, I should say, different varieties when it comes to food. Um, then when you go into the uh, Panorama Lounge and the Panorama Deck, this is where we serve kind of a quick service breakfast, and you can get anything with um, like Danishes and and uh, croissants and orange juice and mimosas, whatever you like, and then go up to the Panorama Deck, which is the very front of the ship, where you can definitely see a broad, broad view of landscape when it comes to castles or if it comes to beautiful picturesque landscape, uh, depending on what rivers you go. And, and when I went on the Rhine, you saw a lot of castles, you saw uh, a lot of great cities and towns as we pass by the rivers. Uh, so that's honestly the play of the land. This is what uh, we bring. And I forgot to mention uh, our specialty dining room, which is Portobello's. Portobello's is right, right in the front uh, of the ship. And honestly, sits about 34 people. Is very intimate. So talking about, so we talk about the ship and what, and I will show you pictures of what, uh, of what it looks like, but kind of tell you what our itinerary is. You know, like I said, we mainly hit Europe. So one of our itineraries that we, that actually that I did was the Rhine River and the Rhine River obviously goes from Amsterdam all the way to Basel. Uh, then you have the Moselle. Uh, Moments ago, goes from Koblenz, which I visit because Koblenz is an amazing city. Uh, I honestly, I, I, I would say that in my itinerary, Koblenz was one of my favorites. Uh, Koblenz down to uh, Tier, uh, and that is the Moselle. And we do have Rhine and Moselle. So we hit Koblenz and then go down to Moselle River. Moselle is beautiful. I mean, it has a uh, lot of castles, a lot of history. So if you're in, if you're a big history buff, definitely invite you to go to the Rhine and Moselle. Um, then you have the big Danube. And the Danube, honestly, is what most people like to do because it hits Nuremberg, it hits Budapest, Vienna. Uh, if you like to, if you're a big BMW fan, this Vienna is kind of like your, your, your place, where, kind of where the factories are located, uh, down to the lower Danube to, to Bucharest. Uh, nothing has changed as far as itineraries go. We understand what What's going on geopolitical situation but nothing has changed so far um if you've already done these rivers we do have the french rivers uh we have the rhone river lyon to lyon uh this is beautiful picturesque uh valleys of, of france Bordeaux. I mean, if you're a wine lover, this is it. This is your itinerary. We have a lot of great excursion when it comes to Bordeaux. Uh, then you have the Seine River. Um, you can do a city extension in Paris, uh, leaving Paris to Honfleur. Honfleur is where you do your normally uh, beach landings. And then finally, uh, the Dura River. Um, that's what something I'm going to do next. And I'm going to do a Madrid city extension, going to Sevilla, into uh, Lisbon and then get on to Porto going to the Dura River. And again, the folks here at Luxury Cruise Connections, if you're looking to do a city extension, if you're looking to do, if you're in Europe, if you want to do something before you hit your cruise, these folks know you have very knowledgeable folks. I'm going to share a story towards the end of how knowledgeable these folks are and how they help me get home. Uh, so I'll kind of hit that up here in a little bit. It's kind of give you a little teaser. So what's the difference? What makes the difference between us and other cruise companies? And definitely something that you would ask yourself, you know, why should I choose Scenic? You know, why, what makes you very different from your competition? Well, I hit space very much. And that's one of the top things that we do. But like I said, we're inclusive, exclusive, and we're tailor-made. So one of the things that we have exclusivity on is the butler service. You get a butler in every single one of your staterooms. So whether if you're this standard stateroom or the big owner suite, you're going to get a butler uh, in your stateroom. The butler will help you pack and unpack. The butler will make you reservations if you need to uh, or help you with excursions. The butler also will do turn down service. Uh, the butler will shine your shoes if you want to. Also laundry, um, they'll help you um, with your laundry service and you, everybody gets at least a bag of laundry. And as you go up, you get either unlimited laundry or press with pressing. Um, but I'll let the folks at Luxury Cruise Connections tell you when you talk about your specific cruise. Um, 
what if the other thing I think is the dining and beverages. We'll talk about that. And then I'll leave the excursions and the enrichment for, for later on. Uh, so talking about the, the butler service, this is it. I mean, everybody loves the butler. And I know you're probably thinking, I've never had a butler ever in my crew. So why do I need a butler? I'm telling you, once you get a butler, you never go back. They are amazing. My personal preference when I had a butler on my cruise was that the butler honestly help me do my um uh he'll be customized my mini bar and i know that it may seem a little details but honestly details what we're really about and i got my personal favorite beer which is sam adams just just an fyi uh and also my favorite wine which is pinot noir and cabernet and i got a bunch of bottles of that i got my refrigerator fully stock of sam adams and this is again something new and best of all it was all free it is all complimentary um the state rooms and i'm going to touch upon this this is what the statements what they look like i mentioned the standard state room that has that rectangular window uh, again very good for singles uh, or, or very much if you need very little light it's honestly a great state room to be in but you definitely i mean if you're going into the rivers you definitely want to upgrade into the balcony suite or the deluxe balcony suite and the deluxe balcony suite or balcony suite looks exactly like this and what's missing here is the glass door just like the glass door that divides the room into the french balcony uh and then your butler actually brings a little bit of uh the lights so you sometimes you'll find charcuterie in your state room sometimes you'll find uh lobster um, i'm sorry not lobster uh crab legs uh, or um, stone crab claws. So you definitely some type of surprise and delight that your butler um, brings to you every day. This bow, this window comes down. Um, so and the bathrooms are very large, and that's something again that everybody loves. And the, and the bathrooms are very pretty marble. Um, they do have a large shower, so it is something that um, you have to see it. And then you have your panorama suite and the royal suite, which I uh, would touch base upon. The sun deck is it's very long. These ships are very long. So you have the sun deck where folks like to uh, hang around. Um, usually in the daytime, they come here, they play games, or they, um, uh, they read books. You have the canopies in the very top. You want to hide from the sun. You have the pool down there. And then um, on the other side, so you don't see this, but you see this kind of going forward to back. You don't see back to forward. But if, if I were to turn the picture around, you will see actually the barbecue area. There's some barbecue area, we have a barbecue pit right in the middle of it with chairs around and they cook burgers, they do hot dogs, sausages. They like to fire up that grill. Sometimes we have a barbecue uh, lunch or uh, evening, depending on the itinerary that you go. So this is kind of like uh, kind of your home away from home. Uh, the pool is amazing. Very, it's 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 uh, about four feet, uh, and it's in the middle of everything. So if you want to grab, and actually it's close to the bar. Uh, so if you want to grab a drink and then go to the pool and then uh, go lounge on the sun deck, definitely something that that you can do. Um, then underneath that, once you come down, so those stairs you see, they're kind of the stairs that you see here. Once you gone there, that is directly below um, the panorama lounge and the panorama deck. So if you want to grab your lunch and you want to get away from the sun, we have that panorama deck that actually will shade you. Um, the salt therapy lounge, I talked about that, which is located on the jewel deck. The panorama bar and lounge, this is the area that I told you was very big, very wide. Uh, kind of, it separates, it has a lot of separation there. So if you bring your little pod of folks, uh, groups, which we love your groups, we can definitely accommodate you uh, there. You do have the specialty dining room that's actually next door as well. And we also have a well area so I talked about the gyms we also have a spa and our spa is full service uh, so if you want to get a massage if you want to get a facial anything to help you relax uh, definitely we have that on board uh, the dining venues, I talked about the Crystal Dining, which is the main dining room. The River Cafe is located on the Panorama uh, Lounge. This is if you wanted something quick service, if you want maybe uh, cake and coffee, if you want a Danish, or if you want a roti, if you just want to uh, make, um, let, let us make yourself, uh, make, make you a drink. We can't talk right today. Make you a drink uh, so you can take it uh, ashore, or if you want to go upstairs into the sun deck, um, this is something that, you know, we have that available for you. 
Portobello's is a specialty dining room. You do need reservations. Your butler can help you with that, or you can come into our concierge and we'll make reservations for you. Uh, it is 32, um, there's 32 seats, so depending on a special night or, or a special occasions, please do your reservations early. Um, you can't do the reservations beforehand, I'm sorry. You want to get everybody to get a chance, so you have to do it when you come on board. Um, Portobello's is Italian, and then L'Amour uh, is French for our French itineraries. Uh, table of Reef and Table Dior uh, is our chef's table. Our chef's table has seven different types of courses uh, paired with separate different types of wine from the region at your visit. Um, this is available only to our suite guests. So the Panorama Suite and the, and the Royal Owner Suite are the only ones that will be able to dine uh, at the chef's table. It is by invitation only. So folks, if you're not getting a suite and you want the chef's table, the best I can tell you is make friends with those people who are in the suite. Um, so this is our dining venues and then our excursions. We have a lot of excursions. We usually have three to five different excursions per every port. And again, we have a little bit more variety than some of our competition. And we have from active excursions to sightseeing excursions. Uh, this is like from, like we saw the truffle tasting, our popular, our most popular one is shopping with the chef. And if you want to go on your own, that's okay. We have e-bikes that you can take and go out. Or you can go just uh, walk uh, by yourselves. We do have an app. The app on Scenic, and if you download it, will tell you everything what's going on in the ship, but also acts as your tour guide. So if you want self-guided tours, actually we'll map out a route for you to go on your e-bikes or walk. Uh, and if you bring your AirPods uh, or your headphones or something, any type of listening device, um, and the app is downloadable on your personal device. Um, that acts as a tour guide. So you can press uh, any type of, um, when you see the map, I'm sorry, when you see the maps, you see different types of icons, you can click on it and a tour guide comes out and tells you about where you are. And it tells you if you see a landmark or restaurant uh, or something like that. So it acts as your private personal tour guide. Um, also, it works on the ship. So on the ship, if you're in the sun deck and if you see castles, if you see, you know, any type of landmark, the app also um, serves as your private tour guide because it will kind of flash uh, if, there's a, if there's a landmark that it, it has some type of um, uh, some type of narrative and you press that and uh, on a tour guide will come out and tell you exactly what the castle and kind of the rivers that you're going on. And best of all, it is free of charge. You just download it. Um, put your information, your stateroom, and it's off to the races. You can um, use it at any time. And then the last thing that we do is the Scenic Enrich. And these are private events. This is, again, going behind the scenes. Um, one of the most popular ones is the Sound of Music, uh, at the Palais de, de Liechtenstein. Uh, Sound of Music is in uh, Austria. Palais de Liechtenstein is in Stra not Strasbourg. I'm sorry. Um, I just kind of, um, the Salzburg, excuse me, not Salzburg, Salzburg. A lot of bergs there, as I remember. Uh, but definitely something that is a private event. It is behind the scenes and is only exclusively to our guests. Uh, you have to sign up for them. It is free of charge. Uh, so if you want to go to these events, we provide motor coaches and we'll take you to the events. Two personal favorites of mine, it is on the French itineraries. One is Bordeaux, where we actually bring you to a French cottage. Uh, in that French cottage, we will serve you a locally cooked uh, French quiz, French dish for you, and and that cottage also a vineyard which is going to bring uh, local wines for you. Uh, the one in uh, the Rhone, the Lyon to Lyon itinerary, we're going to bring you into a submarine base. Uh, now the submarine base is abandoned. So I don't think we're going to see we're going to see soldiers and anything like that. This submarine base was abandoned, and what it was made into was a digital art center. So you walk around rows upon rows of digital art uh, and this probably never heard of it and that's good because again it's exclusively to our guests at uh, on the scenic spaceships and then last but not least we do have call a culinary center on the French itineraries. These are more into the themed cruises. Um, this is only for French itineraries again so we don't have it into the other itineraries not yet. 
And the reasons why we do it on the French itineraries because the French itineraries are curated for culinary. Uh, so what we do on these particular itineraries is we bring chefs on board. These are local chefs um, that we contract from the, from the region. They come on and they do cooking demonstrations. They shop with you. Um, there's about 10 seats for the uh, culinary center. So definitely sign up. Uh, when you get on board, you can use your butler. They can sign up, can sign you up for you. Um, the cruise director also can sign you up. Uh, but then you get to spend the day with them, uh, and you get to cook with them. They will tell you, they will give you wine pairings. Um, they will shop with you. They will kind of tell you kind of it's a whole entire grace. So if you're a foodie, this is something you definitely want to do. Um, so that's honestly it. That's honestly what the scene expands. was a lot of information. I'm sorry. I just, you know, saw the ship not too, not too long. and I definitely want to share it in my whole experience and hopefully you got a good lay of the land um, of what we're, uh, what we're all about. We have a promotion going on right now until June 24th, and, and this is $500 off per stateroom uh, off our itineraries in 2022 and 2023. Um, so definitely, if you want more information, uh, definitely talk to your Luxury Cruise Connection advisor. They'll tell you a little bit more information on that. Um, this is not the promotion that um, Carlos was alluded to at the beginning. That promotion, will we'll say it, we'll save it to the very end. Uh, so with that, Carlos, I just want to pause right here and see if there are any questions for the Scenic brand before we jump into the Emerald brand. Yes, there, well, yeah, there are some questions. Uh, I, I don't know if all of them pertain specifically to Scenic, but uh, I, can go, I can go through some of these questions. Uh, by the way, uh, I want to uh, specifically welcome uh, Gilda and marvin i know that you're listening to today's event thank you for joining us they just recently booked uh, with max uh, a couple of scenic uh nice yes yes so uh welcome welcome aboard yes no thank you for for, for joining us and uh, if you have any questions please feel free to uh send them through and we'll be happy to um get answers from from andy um look we have some questions like uh do we have any um, accommodations to, for three adults? Um, maybe you can talk about that. So some of the space, so we, we don't have like a trundle bed or anything like that. Um, there is, we, depending on the itinerary, and I'm talking about the itineraries of the Rhine, the Moselle, and um, the Moselle, excuse me, and the Danube. We, we do have like a, um, I would say a, um, not a trundle bed, but like a, um, um, a roll-in bed for a third person, um, but we don't have like the you know the upper beds or anything like that. We don't we don't have that, so we you kind of lose a roll-in bed uh, for that third person. So yes, um, if you're talking about children, so we the river cruise is a little bit different. River cruise we do not um, uh, we only it's only up to twelve years old. So twelve years and older is the ones that we uh, allow on, on a river cruise. Is nothing younger than uh, no one younger than, um, than than twelve years old. Ocean cruise is very different. Ocean cruise we do allow all ages. Um, so if you're talking about children, if you want to get into the um, roll in bed, we definitely can accommodate. But remember, it is has to be twelve years or older. Um, so I hope that answers your question. Um, Eddie, let us know if not, we can uh, we can go more in depth in, in, on that question. Um, how do you how do you engage single passengers? Like what what options do you have for single passengers? Um, she used to be a past Crystal guest, uh, and it was a nightmare for single passengers, as she says. So okay. Susan wants to know. Yeah, so Susan, the the single guests actually we we talked about this at the national sales conference, and. Um, when I taught the presentation, I talked about the standard staterooms. The standard staterooms, honestly, were are going to be more marketed to single passengers. Um, that is on the dual deck. Now, obviously, some single passengers want balconies and want suites. Um, so one of the things that's great about this particular agency that I'm presenting with is that they are a valued, uh, our value, we call it elite account. And what that is, is that, you know, we, we can make exceptions. So if you have a cruise that you want to go on and that you say, you know what, I, 
I would like to see if there's any reduced single supplements or anything like that. Definitely let your advisor know. They'll get in touch with me and we can see if we can get a reduced single supplement here for you. Now, with that being said, I can't promise you it's going to be on every single one of them, uh, but definitely we can give you some options here to, um, to get you on board. If that's what you want to do, if you want a balcony, if you want any other uh, estate room, we definitely can. But usually most folks, what they do is get the standard room, standard suite if, they, if they're in the... Um, uh, if they're traveling as a single. Hey, and we had a comment from uh, Alan, who is uh, Steve's uh, past guest, I believe, and uh, he's interested in the Eclipse Antarctica. So, uh, Alan, know that uh, Steve's going to take really good care of you. We um, certainly can get that done for you. Um, Edward was commenting on he's currently booked for August 5th, North, 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 Northwest Passage. Having trouble with medical from form, can't find uh, can't can't find form to copy and send to provider. So uh, if we don't have an answer for that now, uh, Andy, maybe we you know I, I think that's um, yeah it's something we'll take up offline. So uh, Eddie, you know, reach out to your advisor. They'll reach out to me, uh, and then we'll get those forms here for you. Okay. Uh, Edward, uh, we'll follow up with you after this meeting, and we'll 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 get that sort it out for you okay um and then melvin is asking about single supplement what is the single supplement uh, and is there a medical facility on board um so yes there's a medical facility on board um is there is there a single supplement so single supplements on all ships it is 200 percent um, so we don't have a universal single supplement that if you're a single will reduce it it's not like it doesn't work that way we do come up with specials for the rivers as we do single supplements. Uh, but again, like I said, if this is something that you want to go in and um, the price is, is, it's not what you expected, talk to your advisor at Luxury Cruise Connections uh, because we can give them an exception to get you know something lower than 200%. Uh, like I said, it, I, I can't guarantee you it's going to be on every sailing. Um, so I, I definitely, if you are a single, if you want to travel, try to give us about two or three dates, you know, um, and start with your, oh, it's in there, and start with your very top, like your top choice to, to your third choice. And we can do this, work something out. Usually I've seen, um, since you're working with this particular agency that we can get you a, um, a reduced single supplement on your first choice, but just give us just in case. So, um, I hope that answers your question. Okay. And um, uh, Bernard, your question about where you can see the lock suite layout, Bernard will reach out to you also after the meeting. One of our advisors will reach out to you personally and we'll get you that information as well. And then uh, what is Crystal Dining? Can you so, speak a little bit yeah. about that? So right. Crystal Dining is our main dining room. Uh, it is open seating. Uh, so you basically come in with your parting, we'll sit you down. We have different types of tables. So it'd be two, four, six, three. 18, we definitely can, uh, can accommodate. Um, the Crystal Dining, uh, it's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, so if you want, it's all sit-down service. So most people like to go on sit-down service for breakfast. Um, and then if you're a late riser, so we call it a late riser, then we do kind of have a uh, continental breakfast up in the Panorama Lounge. Uh, but the Crystal Dining, if you want to dine there for breakfast, one there for lunch, and especially dinner, uh, that's what you sit down and you give your menu, you can order anything you like here from the menu. Andy, since uh, we talked about, you just mentioned the word crystal, uh, Raphael. Uh, I know I booked a scenic with guests who were booked with crystal. Is scenic still, and emerald, are, the, uh, are they still giving special promotions for guests who had a crystal reservation? Very good question to ask. Uh, so, the, so not emerald. Um, scenic because honestly if you see the spaceships and how this actually is the most one the most parallel to, to crystal um, when I looked at the opal so I've been on so I've seen Bach and I have seen opal and and again you have the crystal Bach scenic opal and they're very very compared to each other um, the crew the staterooms, the public areas, very, very comparison. So that's why uh, the scenic group wants to extend a promotion to a past crystal guest. So um, I'll be honest with you. What I'm about to tell you is not publicized. Um, you will not get it anywhere. 
uh, actually one promotion you can, the other one you will not. Um, these, these are exclusive offers that we have with Luxury Cruise Connection. So if you talk to our reservation uh, folks, or if you talk to any other travel agency, they may say, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea. And that's one of the reasons why that we partner with a great agency like Luxury Cruise Connections. So the Crystal offer, the first one that it's exclusively for Luxury Cruise Connections is if you were a Crystal uh, society member so you had doesn't matter if you, you had a reservation or if you did not have a reservation uh, what we're going to give you is a $500 per person off any river cruise or $750 per person off any ocean cruise in 2022 or 2023. And I know what you're thinking. I, I see the juices kind of getting in there, kind of the wheels turning. Yes, it is combinable with the offers that we talked about today. Um, so definitely, if this is something that you're very interested in, if you're a past Crystal Society member, uh, talk to your advisor. And we can definitely apply those promotions. The one that is um, that every that I won't say everybody has, but it, it's it's more publicized, is if you had a crystal booking. So if you had a crystal booking and it was fully paid, not deposit, has to be fully paid. Um, we are going to give you seven hundred and fifty dollars per person off a river cruise, or a thousand dollars off per person off uh, a uh, an ocean cruise. So again, you have to provide the invoice. Um, it has to be fully paid, uh, and we definitely get the promotion. If you don't, if you had deposit bookings, um, just bring bring your invoice to your um, to your luxury cruise connection advisor, and definitely we can work something out. Perfect. Um, so, uh, Andy, I, uh, I definitely covered the questions that we have so far. I know you want to cover a little bit of uh, yep. uh, Emerald, so go for it, and then we'll open up for a few more questions toward the end. Uh, okay. I do want to, um, I, I do want to make, make sure that uh, you know we're, we we try to keep it within the time frame as much as possible. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So let me, um, I try to share the screen so it was disabled. So Denise, I don't know if you can help me out with that. Yeah, sorry. There we go, all right. Okay, so back to the action. So Emerald Cruises. So we, like I said before in the very top, you know, we're very, ex we're inclusive, exclusive, you know, we're custom made. So Emerald Cruises, has the same service as scenic so i don't want you to think that if you go on scenic and if you go on emerald the food the quality of the food and the service is going to scale down no it's actually they're very even as far as service and as far as food quality and as far as excursions um the difference is that the emerald brand it's not all inclusive it's actually inclusive by choice so you can include all your excursions and you can include all your drinks. So that's, that's fine. The only difference is that, you know, we don't include those as far as drinks goes, as far as excursions go, we don't include all of them. It is your choice if you want to include. We do include is transfers. We do include is prepaid gratuities. And not only on the cruise, but also your tour guides. Uh, we include uh, one to two excursions per port. Uh, and we also include Wi-Fi. Those are the things that we do include on board, which is absolutely free. Uh, so as far as this, the Emerald brand, I'm going to um, uh, and, and talk about this. It's, it's very similar to the Scenic brand. This, here she is. So this is not a spaceship. This is a starship. Uh, there's about nine starships. And remember, I, um, the size of the spaceship holds about 164 passengers. The starship uh, holds about 180 passengers. Um, there's still four decks. Uh, but again, like I said, it doesn't have that much. It doesn't have the venues that the scenic brand has. So it doesn't have in a... Um, a specialty dining room. It just has a dining room and it has the, the Horizons Bar and Lounge versus the Panorama Bar and Lounge. So it has one restaurant and then you have your lounge. Uh, but I guess, it, again, it does have its inclusiveness. So I don't want you to think that you're going to 
scale back as far as what is included in it and, and what's not. Um, again, our excursions, I went on the Emerald Dawn and our, the excursions were top notch. And I'm talking about these folks know what they're talking about. They take you through the history. They take you through uh, the towns. They're, they are from there. Uh, and honestly, I was just taken back of how knowledgeable and how um, all, everything was curated for us and how they're very passionate to talk about their history of their town and their culture and their arts and their food. I mean, everything was just top notch. Uh, the Emerald Active. Uh, so think about Emerald is that they are tailored to wellness and active. So if you'd like to do yoga, if you like to do Pilates, Zumba, uh, we have actually pool Zumba on, on Emerald. That's complimentary. And we do have that on board. Emerald Active, if you want to go hiking, canoeing, bike riding, we have that uh, all on board. And then you have your concierge service. We do have concierge service on Emerald. Uh, the reception, again, if you need to arrange your transfers, your cruise director, if you need to, if you need something out of the ordinary, uh, your activities director, if you want to do some type of excursions, like we had some folks on our cruise that wanted just to ride the bike and they didn't want to do the excursion, just want to ride back around town. They actually made that happen. As far as the itineraries, very similar. Uh, to the ones uh, that we offer on, in Scenic. The only difference is that we took out the Seine River and we took out the Bordeaux region. Other than that, it is very similar to what we offer in Scenic. Uh, on the Scenic brand, I did not touch upon the Asia cruises and that's because we have suspended our Asia cruises for the time being, but we are returning to Asia with the Emerald brand starting in October. Uh, and talk about the itineraries that we offer for uh, Asia. Uh, one of the things that I'm very proud of is that we're the only ones that actually dock in downtown Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, a lot of the other cruise lines we have to do is take a bus out a little bit outside the city to board the ship. We are in the city center. Uh, so that's something that uh, it gives us that little bit exclusivity. The Emerald Harmony uh, is the ship that goes to uh, Vietnam and, and in Cambodia. So as far as the bars and lounge, like I said, we have one lounge, one uh, particular, uh, one restaurant. But I'll tell you folks, when I say that, I don't want you to think it's very small. Actually, it was very large. Uh, the Horizon Bar and Lounge, first of all, the cappuccino uh, machine does not get full credit here. And I'll tell you, and it's actually located like right here. That's the cappuccino machine. I will tell you, that's the most delicious coffee I've ever had from machine ever. Uh, it, it makes cappuccino, American coffee, espresso, you name it tea if you're into tea and we were with folks from the uk but actually about 80 percent of the passengers that were on the emerald dawn was from the uk and they were raving about the tea they were raving about the coffee so i know those folks know about a lot about tea and coffee uh their um the tea time that's at 4 p.m we had a lot of different biscuits cakes scones you name it it was it was just amazing uh the bar here we have different types of beers so depending on the region that you're in we have locally sourced beer I had honestly German beers and I tell you that's one of the most delicious beers I've ever had in there. Entertainment, we do have entertainment on both Scenic and Emerald. I didn't touch much about entertainment on, on Scenic and I apologize about that, but we do have entertainment on board, whether it be, like you see there, German singers or German band players. Uh, we have dancers, we have violin players, and we also have theme nights. We have activity games, uh, named at tomb, for example. So we do have entertainment. It's more cabaret style. Uh, when we don't have the large theater stuff, we have an ocean cruises. Remember, our focus on Emerald is wellness and also act active. So the pool, actually, we have a big pool area. And I wish I had a picture that I took on the big pool area. I actually took a swim on this pool and it's about four feet deep. And I was it just sat there and relaxed. And then that big window where this guy is like right here, I saw all the castles passing by. Ship was going, I saw castles, landscape. And I just stood there and I just like took back everything. 
like you see like everything pass by and uh, kind of like all your problems just just kind of like like washes away there in that pool i'd say it's one of the best pools i've ever been to and then that pool turns into a movie theater at nighttime and they're very comfy chairs they're very comfy chairs you had also some tables they serve you popcorn i mean it is amazing we actually we watch first round movies and when i watch was uh the uh, james bond latest movie i mean how cool was that going through germany and watching james bond the sun deck uh this is one of my personal areas the temperature when i went there was about 50 degrees 50 to 60 degrees great for a native south floridian because it escaped the heat um and i just lounge around those chairs and just took pictures of the towns as it goes by the castles the landscape uh some folks play mini golf some folks play tic-tac-toe uh, some folks just lounge around the canopy uh and just watch everything and that's something that honestly it's just you 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 can get enough of the dining again the reflections restaurant kind of like the one that i talked about the crystal dining um breakfast lunch and dinner all served there um again it, it's the exact same thing as the crystal dining so if i kind of repeat reflections is it's kind of i'm repeating myself so uh since we're pressed for time i'll tell you again sit down service breakfast lunch and dinners um, locally sourced foods. You do have uh, the chef's recommendation, which is a local um, food that a dish that he makes. We do locally source our foods from the area that we're in, uh, and then you have the, the Emerald Classics. And the Emerald Classic is your steak, uh, steak and frites. Actually, we have that it's Emerald Classic: your chicken, your salmon, uh, and lamb. And then the crystal, and then sorry, not the crystal, I'm sorry, the terrace. So you have the Horizons Bar and Lounge. And for the late risers, we do have bre late breakfast. You can go into the terrace there and grab like a croissant or coffee. Um, if you're an early riser, so since I woke up at 6, 6.30, I have an 18-month-old, so that's why I wake up a little bit earlier. Uh, and I went there, grab a croissant, grab a coffee, and watch these beautiful things in the terrace. Um, most folks like to go here for happy hour and there is kind of like they have their beers, they have their wine. And again, they see, uh, they go into the deck here and especially when the ship is moving, you see some beautiful uh, landscape and you see the locks. So most folks don't know that you can see the locks here and on the sun deck. Most people like to go around here and see how they go through the locks. The accommodations, it's, I will tell you that this is the best sleep I've ever had. Queen size beds, uh, and the bathrooms are spacious uh, and it's everything metropolitan. I'll tell you that this is the W of, of the seas. I'm not the seas, I'm sorry, the river is not seas, river, the W of the river. Um, wellness programs, like I mentioned, we have Pilates, we have yoga, we have, oops, we have bike riding. Uh, and then you have your shore excursions. Um, sorry about that, my mouse is going a little crazy. And then we have the shore excursions. And again, the shore excursions is one of the best I've ever had. Um, and again, like I said, they are very knowledgeable. The tour guides are amazing, spacious motor coaches. Uh, you can go on bike riding. We don't have an app here, uh, but that's okay. I mean, it's just that your, your cruise director will give you maps. Uh, your reception will give you maps. They'll give you pointers of where to go. You're never going to get lost. I'm telling you that they'll even map a little thing if you're looking for something off the beaten path. The promotion right now for this is kind of the exact same thing as Scenic, $500 off uh, on 2022 and 23 free sailings. We also have the Luxury Cruise Connection exclusive offer, uh, which is uh, $150 additional savings for any river cruise $250 additional savings for any ocean cruise. And this lasts until July uh, 15th. And last but not least, I definitely promised you a story. So very quick, I know we're, we're here, we're almost to the end of time. Um, I When I went to the Emerald Dawn, I needed to go home a little bit early. I wanted to change my flight. And um, actually, I was going to stay at a hotel first. And Diego from Luxury Cruise Connections um, helped me trying to get the best hotel for my very early flight on Monday. He told me, this is where, this is where you go. This is, you know, this is the best hotel. This is going, and he kind of gives me the lay, uh, the lay of the land of the Frankfurt airport. You know, if you go on this one, it has like a little um, bridge that goes from the hotel 
to the airport so you can get there on time. You have to check in on these times. And he was being my, my travel advisor and I was listening to everything he was saying. So, okay. So, and I asked my, asked my question. So it was a local restaurant. Well, you, you know, you, you can take a taxi, you can take an Uber and, but you definitely want to stay here because it's way too early and things in Frankfurt sometimes may not, uh, may not operate that early in the morning. So he was giving me everything uh, from A to Z. But then what happened is like I changed my mind. I just wanted to go home early. So I go, hey, Diego, I just, I can't find a great find an American. I'm a big American guy. Um, I, I don't know where to go. He goes, book Lufthansa. And he, and he shows me all, all the itineraries and all the flight schedules for Lufthansa. And I found a flight uh, leaving at 10 a.m. nonstop out of Miami. Um, and I go, what about, I'm, I'm, I, I think you're a book economy or premium economy. Book premium economy. You have the best premium economy that there is. And I tell you, when I booked that and I went on premium economy, it was no joke, the best flight experience that I've ever had. Um, I slept like a baby. And let me tell you, I do not sleep on planes. And because of his advice, I honestly slept four hours on this flight. And it's one of, and it, and it's one of the best, again, flight experience I've ever had. So I'm telling you, when you have these folks here, and I know that they're, they're all watching, they're all looking. These folks are the most knowledgeable uh, and they will help you from A to Z. And they're very passionate uh, what they do and they're very passionate for you. Trust me, Carlos calls me at four o'clock in the morning and say, hey, my, my person didn't get their tickets or didn't get their documents. I'm like, Carlos, it's four o'clock in the morning. So I'm up, I'm up, <laughs> let's go. My, my people are up, so I'm up. So you're, you're in the most fantastic hands that you can ever be. And with that, folks, uh, I, I am completing my presentation. Definitely will open up the floor for questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Andy. Thank you very much for the endorsement. And uh, look, I've known you for a long time and you're, you know, you're just such a great professional. And we're so happy that you're now with uh, Cynic and Emerald because it really makes our relationship that much stronger. Um, we've, uh, as a company, we've done uh, business with Cynic and Emerald for quite a bit, quite a long time. I mean, basically since they started entering the U.S. market. Um, and so far, the feedback that we've received has been fantastic. Uh, obviously, not too many people have tried the, um, you know, the, the ocean ships, of course. But uh, uh, the the if they if they have the same level uh, of, of of probably even more of a higher level of quality of standards of of, of customer service than in river ships, then I'm sure people are going to love them. Um, guys, I don't know. I don't know how many of you uh, knew that. Uh, scenic has those yachts. I mean, like Andy was saying, two scenic ships, the uh, Emerald, Azura, and uh, I forget the name of the second Azura. Sakara. 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 Sorry. Uh, amazing yacht, uh, yacht style uh, ships. I mean, these are some of the smallest ships in the industry um, and, and just offering such a level of personalized lux level of service and luxury that Really, you don't you, you really don't have many options like this today. So, uh, very happy that we did this. Uh, I want to, like I said, open up the, um, the, the 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 floor. You know, the open up the, the the questions for anybody to ask additional questions. Uh, Gilda, who is one of your future um, guests. Sorry, let me do this. Oh, but by the way, thank you very much for answering the poll about luxury cruise connections. I guess sixty percent of you have not done business with us yet. 40% of you have. So that's great. Thank you for those that uh, have entrusted us with your travel plans. And for those that don't know us yet, and those that have not done business with us yet, uh, we welcome you to do so. And we look forward to the opportunity to um, sharing some great customer service some great knowledge and, and an opportunity yeah. to really blow your minds with uh, your next cruise adventure. So uh, thank you. And uh, let me uh, go to Gilda's question real quick. So I'm going on the Christmas holiday cruise over Christmas and New Year's. What events are planned? So just so you know, uh, just to reiterate, Gilda and Marvin are Max's clients just booked on, 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 on scenic. So can you please share? Yeah, absolutely. So Gilda, one of the things that a lot of people have always told me about the Christmas markets is, um, you know, they... Uh, they go, they all with all the bells and whistles on this. So any specific um, activities, we're honestly uh, just, just finishing the fall season as far as activities go, plan activities, and then we're going to go into the Christmas market 
probably sometime in August. So just stay tuned with Max. Uh, this is a great question to ask around towards the end of August to know exactly what the ships are going to do uh, for the Christmas markets. But what I can tell you uh, and kind of get you excited for going on your cruise is that when you go to the Christmas markets, I'm telling you every one, every, and actually Diego gave me a little bit of insight also with the Christmas markets, is that Europe and especially all the towns spare no expense. They, they all the bells and whistles. It is honestly the best time to go onto these towns. So the towns are incredibly decorated all for the holidays. A uh, lot of food, a lot of wine. So hopefully you're a foodie and, and, and hopefully you're, you're get ready to eat because it's just amazing. Um, as for, we honestly go to these towns uh, with a free shore excursion. Uh, so hope you um, clear out your iPhone uh, or whatever device you have with pictures because you definitely want to take a lot of these pictures. Uh, but definitely I will get back to you what, what exactly specifically other ships are going to do for Christmas markets. Uh, and again, it, that should come out sometime in August. Perfect. So, uh, Gilda, just so you know, what we'll do is uh, we'll, up, we'll we'll set ourselves a reminder to follow up with Andy in August, and uh, and we'll get back to you with some more information um, on that. So, stay tuned for more. Um, and again, thank you, and, and welcome to the Luxury Cruise Connections family. So, thank you for giving us an opportunity. Um, excellent. What, what what other questions do we have? Let me hear you. If you want to maybe unmute yourself and ask uh, ask a question live, uh, this is this is when this is when. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Okay. What about oh. the? Huh? <laughs> I said, "Wow, that's good. That's good. I got to get everybody excited." Yeah, you shared a lot of information. Um, let's see, uh, Eddie, Eddie, and Carol. Uh, do you guys? Uh, what do you think about the presentation? Did you like it? Any questions? We can't hear you for some reason. Yeah, uh -uh. I think something's wrong with the sound. No, we can't hear you, unfortunately. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe you can type in the chat in the in the chat box. Uh, in the meantime, I'll, I'll go with Amy. Amy's asking, did you originally mention that you were going to talk about ocean cruises as well? Um, Andy, I mean, we, oh, we uh, Amy, so just so you know, so when we talk about ocean cruises, that's when we're talking about the scenic um, eclipse, the one and two, and the Azura and the Sakara. 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 Um, so I, Amy, the thing is that, you know, if we, uh, if we talk about all four experiences, we'll be again here for a little bit long. So definitely we want to cut it up. So the first part will be the river cruises that we've done today and definitely in the future, uh, you know, and we'll schedule it and I'll schedule it here with luxury cruise connections. We're going to talk about the ocean. Um, so hopefully we can get something here in the near future, but definitely stay tuned. Uh, this is another, this is going to be part two. Uh, we will talk about the scenic eclipse and the Emerald super yachts. Is that uh, Amy? Does that answer your question? Do you wanna you wanna go? Uh, ahead? I just sent you another one. Go ahead, tell us, tell us. Uh, so what? We're very new to cruising. In fact, we're going next week. Uh, Javier scheduled our first cruise on the Muse to Alaska, uh, but we're new to this and we're excited. So will you? send us materials regarding the different options available on these cruises that you talked about today? Yeah, so um, do you want like a physical brochure? Even if you in email form, the okay. way, you know, because we're, I think we're on your list as clients of Luxury Cruise Connection, so yeah. it'd yes. be interesting to lose. Yes, so uh, absolutely, Javier, Javier will, uh, will make sure to Follow up with Javier and send you some. We'll get you some brochures. Yeah. Yeah, I I think you're gonna love. I think you're gonna love the the um, the eclipse, uh, or or the Azura. These are like, um, uh, Andy. Why don't we why don't we share this? How many guests uh, on each each one of those ships? Yeah. So the scenic eclipse um, has about 223 passengers when you go on the yacht itineraries. Uh, when you go on the expedition itineraries, like Antarctica and the Arctic. 
you're talking about 200 passengers. Yeah. The Azura, uh, it's about 100 passengers. Imagine. So the Azura is, is 50 suites or staterooms, and the, um, the uh, Eclipse is a little bit over 100. These are extremely small ships. And, and, and just to put that in perspective, that's actually a really good thing, right? Especially when you're talking about uh, luxury travel, when you're talking about very personalized experiences, um, and we're talking about, you know, not having to be with crowds, and we're talking about, you know, really kind of getting to know the crew or the crew getting to know you and, and really tailoring that experience, um, to, you know, to you and making it amazing. So um, really, really, really excited to share more with you guys about those two ships or those two experiences. Uh, Carlos, can I just, uh, for Max's guest, Gilda, since I've done it, uh, since you're going on the Danube, Gilda, you definitely want to go in Vienna to the Schönbrunn Palace. It is possibly the best Christmas market place that you will find. First of all, the, the palace itself is humongous and it's amazing. But when you come out, when you come out uh, of the palace, it, it is just Christmas all over the place. Uh, uh, places to buy uh, hot chocolates and other things and, and uh, souvenirs and, and, and food. The sausages are the largest you'll ever find anywhere on this river cruise. So, uh, so Schönbrunn Palace, you definitely want to go. And uh, Max told me you're going to Prague, an old town in Prague. The whole place is Christmas market. So you're going to have loads of places to go and enjoy the Christmas market. See what I mean about they're very knowledgeable. <laughs> All right, folks, I'm so sorry. I actually have to run. Um, but thank that, yeah, thank, thank you very much. Real quick before you go about Wi-Fi. Okay, so Wi-Fi. Um, I would tell you, so I, I know a lot of a lot of times that folks say about Wi-Fi is being very spotty. Um, I actually did not experience that on board my cruise. Uh, on my cruise, it was very, a very strong signal. Um, and I got, I got actually a lot of work done when I was uh, on there. So I popped in my laptop, I connected there and I sent out emails. I had it on my phone. I was able to use WhatsApp, uh, I had to call home by FaceTime. It wasn't that, um, it wasn't that spotty. So if you're, if you're going to bring your laptop or if you're going to bring your iPhone or iPad, I actually did stream. So when I, I was at night, cause again, the time difference, I did cut up on some movies on Netflix uh, so you're, you're good. It's a very good, strong signal on Wi-Fi on board. Excellent. Andy, well, we're going to let you go. Thank you very much for, you know, being here with us today and sharing all that knowledge with us today and, and the partnership and, you know, very much appreciate the, the, uh, the opportunity you gave us today to learn more about Scenic and, and Emerald, um, for those that are, for our guests that are listening here today, I want to reiterate one more time. This partnership that we have with Cynic and Emerald is very, very special. Um, you know, like, like Andy said, I mean, the, the, there is what you can do on your own, but then when you put, when you take into account the relationship that we have via Andy uh, and, and, and Richard, right, with, with Cynic and Emerald, I mean, the, it, we really take that experience to another level. There's uh, we're here for you. We're here to make your experience an even greater one, and uh, and we look forward to the opportunity to put you on a on a Cynic or em on or Emerald uh, ship very soon. Andy, thank you very much for being here with us. Carlos, thank you for having me, and definitely, folks, like you said, this is this is the agency. So if you folks have any other questions, have answered. I'm sorry, I have to uh, run to another presentation, but definitely mm -hmm. uh, reach out to your advisor. They'll reach out to me. I'm telling you, four o'clock in the morning. That's not. That's not a joke. Uh, no, yeah, it, it is. But um, we will definitely get you the answers. We will definitely make this cruise vacation uh, one of the very best ones. And hopefully, we get to see you on a scenic or emerald cruise. And definitely stay tuned for part two when we talk about the oceans. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Thank, thank you, Andy. Awesome. Andy, awesome. Thank care. you very much. By the way, you're waking up early. You have a newborn. <laughs> yes, and I have a newborn too. So, well, 18 month old. So, <laughs> all right, everybody. Take thank care, you very Andy. much again for your time. Right, Take thank care. You. Thank right. you, Andy. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Right. And uh, for those that are um, that uh, participated today, uh, know that we have another event coming up next Thursday. We have Ponant Cruises. 
um, on Thursday the 23rd at 3 p.m. You're all welcome to join us as well to learn about Ponant. And, um, and um, thank you very much for being with us and the opportunity to share uh, knowledge with you. So um, and spend some time with you. So um, if, uh, if there's any other questions from here, um, and uh, if there's any other follow-up questions, of course, you can always email us, um, connect with us, and we'll be happy to send you any information you might need about this cruise line, any other cruise line, we're here for you. So um, thank you very much for the opportunity and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you all. Yeah. Yeah. Leave me again.